Hey there guys, what's up? It's Nick from AndroidUnite.com and um, I know most of you heard about that rumored, um, well it's not really rumored, it's out, but the um, the Android 4.0 ICS tablet, um, the uh, Nova 7 Basic, and um, I just wanted to point out to you guys that actually it is not ICS, it ships actually with uh, Android 2.3, or 3.2, I'm sorry, as you can see, and um, comes with a few things, you know, you got your USB, um, some paperwork, uh, what else, I, don't, I, I, don't even, I haven't even opened this yet, now let's just see what it is, um, oh, headphones, of course, um, you have your remote control, and uh, looks like, I think it's HDMI, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's HDMI. But anyway, um, but that's all the, uh, we're not doing an unboxing video, I just wanted to show you um, what it all came with. But um, it's it actually runs Android 3.2 Honeycomb, and we'll just go ahead and show you guys real quick, um, just so you guys can see. And then we're also going to do the um, a benchmark and, and, and things like that, just so you guys can see how the Xburst processor um, really, uh, really runs. So... Um, still haven't figured out everything yet, so we'll just go back, and there we go. There you can see Android 3.2, yeah, Honeycomb, and uh, Novo 7 Basic, your kernel, and everything like that. So it's a stock device, but we want to point some things out to you before you go out and, and buy this for yourself. Um, comes with a lot of preloaded apps already. I installed some myself, but as you can see, most some of them are already in in Chinese. You see what I mean? So it's kind of hard to to read it. Even though we went ahead and and put the settings for um, uh, English in the United States. So, but uh, um, those are all the apps that are pre-installed. But um, Android Market wise, we want to tell you it comes with an Android Market. But see, it's like a modified Japanese version of it called Go Market and. Um, and actually, if you try to update anything or anything like that, um, it'll just uh, well, it didn't. It's not doing it now, I guess. But it wouldn't say it would. It would download anything. So um, we'll just go ahead and and for example, I'm going to go to manage. No, we'll cancel that. Manage, and um, it'll show uh, updates available and stuff. So. Yeah, see where it says 14 updates available. We're going to want to go ahead, and it, there's an update trying to push to it. Oops. Um, Android 3.0.7, which is Honeycomb as well. But we'll go ahead and try to um, download it. But see, first of all, it's APK not found. Please retry the download or anything. So, um, and also, oh, here it is. It is downloading. Well, that's good. So we're going to actually bump up to Android 3.07. So, which is good. So, it's your basic honeycomb, um, uh, uh, your basic honeycomb, um, platform. Uh, Gmail's the old, the same. It should have the new one. And, um, what I went ahead and did was, uh, I installed the, uh, the USA, um, version of the Android market. I just Googled it and, and downloaded it from there. But, and, yeah, it's a little bit slow, and I'll show you why in the benchmark test right now, but, um, Android Market, where'd you go, where did you go, where did you go, anybody see it, I don't, yeah, I don't see it anymore, but, anyway, you get the point, let's go ahead and do a quadrant score, just so you guys can see, um, how fast this device is going, um, like I said, it's a 7-inch screen, comes in with, uh, 8 gigabytes of memory installed, and actually, you can expand it to with your micro SD port, and we'll show you right now. I think I have a couple extra micro SD cards right here. Yeah, this one. Um, we'll just go ahead and, and put another eight gig inside of it, and and just to see. So, um, and we'll just let this finish, do its thing. I mean, it's a pretty cool device. Um, while that's running, we'll just show you. Um, you have your charging port right here. It's from charging. Your micro SD right here. USB and HDMI out. And, of course, your 3.5 millimeter heads or um, 
um, headphone jack. Nothing on this side, as you guys can see. Uh, nothing on the bottom either, as well as the, the top. You have your power button and your volume rocker as well right here. So um, we'll get to the rest later. Let's just show you guys the benchmark results. And it failed. So we're going to do it again. I had to do it a couple times for it to do its thing. So while that's running, let's look at the back. And you have a 2.0 mega or 2.0 megapixel rear camera in the back. Your speaker, which is remarkably pretty good, um, I got some pretty good uh, sound quality out of it. And as well as your um, uh, where to go, your uh, 1.3 uh, megapixel camera in the front. So um, these are the soft hardware keys right here. Your volume up and volume down, in case you don't want to reach up here. Um, your uh, menu, home, and back buttons at the bottom, so or on the side. So, um, cool little, cool little tablet. You know, it's it's actually it's really thick. I mean, for ninety nine dollars, you can't really expect too much from it. Um, but uh, it's 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 a good starter tablet if you're just getting into things. I mean, it's no iPad or Motorola Zoom or anything like that. So, um, it does connect to Wi Fi. So. Um, you won't have to worry about signing up for an agreement or anything like that. So, okay, benchmark results are in, and as you can see, it's a uh, it's it only sports a one gigahertz processor, single core. So, and our score was a uh, 986, and looks like the Nexus One running Froyo and the uh, Droid X Evo and the Motorola Droid X um, were past that, but it does beat the original Samsung Galaxy S, the Nexus One, HTC Desire, and so on and so on. So, but take this uh, with a grain of salt because this um, app might not be optimized for um, this tablet as well. So, um, what I, did, I wanted to show you guys the market. Um, let me see if I can find it one more time. If not, then uh, we'll move on to something else. Um, I'm just going to go back into my apps. It was around here somewhere. I know I installed it third party, so... Um, but anyway, well, let's go into the settings and just so you guys can see um, what's going on here. Um, at first, you have your, your, of course, your wireless settings, your sounds, um, your volume on there. You know, and you can just like all the volume and stuff. And notification has all the original, uh, you know, all the original uh, notification sounds. So also audio select, lock screen, and so on. Um, the screen will just go to the brightness and. You can set how bright, and, and uh, it doesn't have auto brightness because obviously there's no proximity sensor in there. So we'll just keep on all the animations, and screen time off, we'll just keep it there. So um, location, applications, let's see if the Android market's installed on here. Downloaded. Market, market, market. There it is. Okay. So let's see if we can open it. Can we open it from here? No, we cannot. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, anyway, um, the Android market does work. I've done it and uh, uh, played around with it. And it doesn't have all your apps that come up if you downloaded it. I, I have like over 40 apps in my Android market account, but it only pulled up about eight of them. So, um, yeah, we have to do that. So I'll just go ahead and this is where your micro SD card slot fits in right snugly in there okay now it doesn't click or anything it just stays in there so um rotate there we go um you do have all your honeycomb features like you have your 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 widgets which are not really that much uh, i think they removed a lot when um they did this you have your apps um wallpapers more and so on and so on so as you can see the wallpapers the live wallpapers they have tons of selection from what was originally in the uh Honeycomb, uh, original honeycomb. So I'll just keep it on the one we have right now. But um, nothing, no bloatware besides all this Japanese stuff in here. But let's just go ahead and uh, try out one of the games here, so, so you guys can see how it works and stuff. It is highly, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, uh, supported by GameLoft. So um, well, this is probably going to take forever. Okay, we'll do that later. Let's do Angry Birds um, by GameLoft, and a lot of the games work on here. I'm actually gonna try and see if we can get Modern Warf or Modern Warfare Three, Modern Combat Three, 
uh, to work on here and stuff. So, um, Angry Birds, of course, comes pre-installed, and we'll just show you guys. So you can see the screen is pretty bright. It's um, it's uh, I forgot the resolution and stuff, but I know it's seven inch and it's a capacitive screen, so it gives you that more um, nice look to it instead of just the regular um, um, cheap kind of stuff that um, a lot of other tablet makers make. So. Um, I don't know why they're throwing ads at us. Oh, this is for the Angry Birds. Okay, so, and we'll just go ahead and turn that down just a bit. So, as you can see, Angry Birds works good. Got loading, loading, and still loading. Okay, we're going to see, can we skip that? No. Now, as far as rooting is concerned, <clears throat> I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. I just barely, literally got this today uh, in the mail. So, um, but we'll get back to you on that as soon as we can. But see, I mean, it's it's pretty smooth. I mean, the device itself runs pretty good. Um, you do get some hiccups and sometimes and um, and uh, things like that. So, um, let's get out of here and we'll just go to home. And screw it. We'll close it all later. Um, you do get some lag at times. Um, while flipping through the screens and stuff, and especially running some apps, um, you get lags as well. So camera, it's um, it's pretty decent. Uh, no flash, but and uh, no autofocus either. So, but you have your settings right here, and um, you can adjust the quality of it as well. So um, you also can do um, video recording as well, which is you, can, which uh, as you can see is is the same as um, as the camera as well. So. Um, yeah. Oh, and you can also adjust between the front facing and the uh, the uh, uh, back rear camera as well. So um, this is basically just a quick walkthrough. If you guys have any questions about it, uh, anything at all, please let us know, um, and we'll be able to sure be able to. Uh, let's go ahead and install the new uh, Android three point oh point seven and see if it gives us anything else new that install and do its thing. Like I said, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to ask. Um, it's, a, it's a good little tablet just for, you know, kicks and laughs and stuff. I mean, it's it, like I said, it's not like a Transformer Prime or, or you know, anything high-end. I mean, for sure it's a low-end device, but um, we are done with that. Okay, so Android 3.0.7 is installed, and let's just confirm that right now. As we go into the settings, we'll go to, oops, not date and time, which, by the way, the time is totally off. I didn't set it yet. So, um, no, it didn't. Maybe it was just for something else. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. We just wanted to give you guys a rundown and um, and see what you guys thought. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, uh, you can... I don't know. I mean, I I think it's nice. Um, it's it's thick. It's sturdy, and it, it doesn't feel like cheap or it's gonna fall apart anytime soon. But um, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 really up to you guys if you like it or not. I mean, for ninety nine dollars for a honeycomb tablet, you really can't beat that price. But um, like you know, I've always say you pay for what you get. So. Um, I, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know what to say else about it, so, but anyway, if you guys have anything else you want to know about, ask us, I'll be sure to answer you guys, we'll be sure to answer you guys, and, and let you know as, um, as soon as possible, so, alright, thanks again for watching, guys, we'll see, talk to you later, thanks for watching.